I was originally supposed to be home for the next two weeks, but due to a last minute schedule change, I'm currently on a short work trip with a bit of spare time to catch up on the list of videos I've been meaning to produce. So here's another one. And a question I get asked quite often on my channel is what entry level telescope can I recommend? And that's a very easy question to answer because without hesitation, my first recommendation would be the Nexstar 4SE computerized telescope from Celestron. So in this video, I will explain some of the features of the telescope and why I recommend it so highly. But let's cut to the chase and do a quick comparison of the type of images you can get from this telescope versus what a P900 can produce. So this is my own Celestron 4SE. And as you can see, I have a ZWO astronomy camera fitted to the back. Now, ordinarily with my other telescopes, I can use an eyepiece or the camera, but I can't use both at the same time. When I fit the camera, I have to remove the eyepiece. But one of the really neat features about this telescope is this knob, which allows you to keep the eyepiece fitted and an imaging camera fitted and just switch between the two by turning this knob, as you can see there. And it's very convenient for just quick setup. So the next images you're going to see are from the P900 camera at maximum optical zoom and then an image of the same object taken with this telescope and the imaging camera. So this is the view from the P900 looking towards the Baha'i Temple in Sydney. This is maximum optical zoom. Now let's take a look at what the telescope can do. And this is the image through the telescope with a ZWO camera. As you can see, the quality is excellent. The magnification level is higher and using the focusing mechanism of the telescope itself, it allows you to achieve a very precise focus. So this is the telescope and this is the P900 with maximum optical zoom. So typically in Australia, this telescope will cost about $1,000 Australian. However, it is also sold at the Australian Geographic Shop and they run sales occasionally with their telescope line heavily discounted. So if you're prepared to wait, you could probably pick one of these up for less than the cost of a P900 in Australia. I managed to buy one earlier this year for under $600 Australian. This is showing a 50% discount. I bought mine with a 40% discount. So if you're interested in one, the Australian Geographic Shop is the one to watch. And in the USA, the typical price is $499 US dollars. And this is a company called OPT, which is where I bought my Coronado Solar Telescope. So looking at some of the features of the telescope, it can be battery powered with eight AA batteries or an external 12 volt power source. The mount itself is capable of being used in alt azimuth mode, but also as an equatorial mount. You can see there that the base is tilted and by doing that, you can actually polar align this telescope. So for a very reasonable price, you have a mount that is capable of being used as an equatorial mount as well. So there is my telescope in equatorial mode and this bubble level is just used to set up the mount accurately. Now as I play this video you will see a curious little hand from my 10 month old baby girl and she's not interested in children's toys she likes to play with all of daddy's toys she loves these eyepieces just taking them out and putting them back in. And I'm quite happy for her to do that because children are far more important than material possessions. So she's allowed to play with any of my computers, my telescopes, and I don't get angry with her at all for doing that. In fact, I encourage it. And this mount can also be used with standard cameras such as the P900 or digital SLRs by removing the telescope and fitting an L bracket and that makes it extremely versatile and I have used that in the past 
for one of my lunar eclipse videos. So there's the L bracket you can use with the Celestron mount. I've got it currently fitted to the Skywatcher mount. The Celestron mount is actually more sturdy and I think slightly more accurate, but the Skywatcher mount is a lot more portable. So this is the one I take on my trips, but this same L bracket can be used on the Celestron mount. And even though this is an entry level telescope, the astrophotography capabilities with a camera such as this ZWO are quite respectable. This is an image taken of Mars. As you can see, the polar ice cap is clearly identifiable. And this is again an image taken with a telescope of the moon. So overall, you really can't go wrong with this telescope. This is maximum optical zoom with a P900.